Number 15. Near Miss. What happens on a bus can be terrifying, but what about before students even board? Footage of near misses by passing cars as students cross the street to board buses have arisen across Canada and the US. Here is just one of those incidents. The children, carefree and ready for school, cross a lane to board when suddenly out of nowhere, a white car speeds past, nearly taking their lives. The car flew through the inside lane of the bus, which was waiting with its doors open to collect the students. If it had sped through a second sooner, everyone's lives could have been changed in the blink of an eye, all just to get to work five seconds sooner. But is such a risk worth taking? Absolutely not. Number 14. The Hero Hero middle schooler, Jeremy Wuchtick, took charge when his school bus driver passed out while driving. The driver had started waving his arms and couldn't breathe, and as the bus swerved, he went unconscious. The seventh grader took the wheel and was able to steer the bus to safety, keeping those on the road and his 15 other fellow students free from harm. When the bus pulled to a stop at the side of the road, he took the keys out of the ignition. Meanwhile, the police had already been notified of the school bus swerving across the road, so they showed up to the scene to find Jeremy had stopped the bus near their destination school. John McCrossin, a school staff member who'd been driving past, also managed to administer CPR to the bus driver who had suffered from a heart-related problem. While folks lined up to hail Jeremy as a hero, he said everything happened so quickly and he was just acting on instinct. But let's not be modest. A hero is a hero. Number 13. On the Hood Another man attempted to take over a school bus in Baltimore, but this time the bus driver was not having it. The man said that someone aboard the bus had thrown a bottle that hit his vehicle. Several witnesses also said that the man then tried to stop the school bus by banging on the doors and trying to climb on board. When the driver wouldn't let the man inside, the angry man jumped on the hood of the bus as it started to drive away. Still directing the driver to open the door, the cell phone footage was captured by a student aboard the bus. Leverin Doran was later arrested without incident and then released from custody. It's unclear if the bottle actually had done damage to his vehicle. Number 12. Rollover When a school bus rolled over in Harris County, rumors quickly spread that a student had been trapped inside the bus during the incident. But as the school district reported, that wasn't the case. However, the bus driver and 14 students out of the 50 who were on board were all taken to the hospital for treatment of injuries, none of which were life-threatening. Still, the rollover footage is quite dramatic to watch. The bus driver is seen swerving out of the way of an oncoming vehicle and taking a turn into a nearby ditch. Superintendent Keith Moore said the driver was very shaken up as I'm sure were the students, most of whom were picked up by their parents after the wreck. While the incident must have been terrifying for all those involved, this could have ended much worse. Number 11. Bus Driver Flips Out In this video filmed in 2005, a school bus driver is heard telling the kids on board to face forward. Apparently, some of the boys didn't listen. When the bus driver tells one in the front to turn around, Using some bad language, one of the boys in the back pipes up. Watch your mouth, he says. The scene develops from there. The bus driver first calls a deputy to Cleveland Circle. Really, he should have just waited for the deputy to arrive. Instead, he heads towards the back of the bus. When one of the boys curses at him, he is then seen manhandling the kid pushing him first into a seat and then down the aisle, while another boy screams, get off him. The driver returns to the front of the bus, but the same boy confronts the driver again, giving him a shove. No more information could be found about the repercussions of this incident for the bus driver or the kids, if there were any. 
But one thing's for sure, whether those boys provoke the driver or not, this was no way to handle it. Number 10. Hijacking Imagine that you were a parent of a school-aged student, and you just found out your child's school bus had been hijacked by a man wielding a knife. That's what happened in Arkansas. When 22-year-old Nicholas Miller demanded a car from a woman in Jacksonville, when she did not have one to give, Miller abandoned pursuit of the woman after spotting the school bus which had stopped nearby. He boarded the bus and hijacked the driver's seat with 11 elementary school students on board. The woman phoned the police to inform them of the incident. Once they'd found the school bus in question, they began their pursuit, as can be seen in this video. Recorded by Kelsey Eggers, the cell phone video shows the bus being tailed by nearly a dozen police cars, all with flashing lights down a two-lane road. The chase ran about 10 miles, which is when the police managed to get the suspect to stop the bus, and they took him into custody. Miller seemed to be suffering psychological trauma or paranoia. He told authorities he'd hijacked the bus because he was being chased, although no one on the bus was hurt. It must have been 20 minutes of trauma for all on board. Number 9. On the way to school. This is another heart stopper. As a 7-year-old boy in Guilford, New Hampshire attempts to cross the street, and climbs aboard his school bus, a car comes flying through and nearly ends his life. Many of us have seen these types of drivers, the kind that don't care about anyone else's safety, not even their own it seems. But when something that's as close as a call as this is caught on video, it reminds you of just how precious life is. At the time the video was captured, Guilford police were attempting to find the car's driver, but it's unclear if they ever did or if that driver received any repercussions for their nearly fatal impatience. Number 8. Tossed Off While there have been plenty of bus drivers on this list that were threatening, this one certainly took things too far. When a 13-year-old student was acting up on the bus, the driver slammed on the brakes, swung open the door, threw the kid's backpack outside and kicked him off. The boy then had to walk home 10 blocks, the footage shown was taped by a student on his phone. It shows the angry exchange between the bus driver and the boy in question. It also shows the kid shouting in defense of the boy, screaming, You can't do that. No! Did you just see that? He's not, he's not you can't do that! What the heck? He doesn't know how to get back home! Another video taken by the bus driver served as his defense. The kid had struck another child on the other side of the aisle and then threatened the bus driver. Additionally, another 13-year-old had smacked the driver in the head with his hockey bag, knocking his glasses off as he disembarked. The incident received both support and anger from parents, with some saying that the driver had to do what he needed to do, while others thought there was no justification for kicking a student off the bus. Cunningham Transport Limited removed him from the division's route, but didn't fire him. A bus monitor was also placed on this route. While the two boys in question were suspended from riding the bus for a week, what do you think? Was the bus driver in the wrong here? Number 7. No seat belt. Here's one reason to always wear your seat belt. When this 73 year old bus driver, Jack Thomas of Indianapolis, took a turn, it turned out that the turn was too topsy turvy to take, and he wasn't wearing a seat belt. Luckily, no kids were on board the bus at this time, as Thomas quickly loses control of the large vehicle, attempting to hang onto the steering wheel for dear life. As he falls out of his seat, the bus plows through a fence, into trees, and knocks into a playset. Then at last, it slams into a garage, while the bus driver relinquishes the wheel and falls down the steps of the bus. Although surprisingly, no one was injured in the incident, Thomas was cited for not following the seatbelt law. Number 6. When Buses Collide A scary chain reaction happened when a school bus collided with another school bus and a truck in Tacoma Public School District. The incident occurred in 2013 on State Route 509 in Tacoma. Thankfully, the buses were empty of children at the time of the incident, and everyone was alright. The bus driver drove into a pickup and a second bus before jerking to a halt, 
According to a Washington State Patrol trooper, the bus driver who caused the incident was ticketed for negligent driving, and Tacoma Public School officials further investigated the matter. As the video appeared to show the driver was wearing her seatbelt improperly, with only her lap secured and the shoulder strap not in use, whether the driver was suspended or terminated is unclear, but what is clear, always wear a seatbelt the way it's meant to be worn. Number 5. Trapped on a Bus A school bus driver in El Mirage, Arizona, school district had had enough. When kids on his bus were misbehaving, he stood up to scream at them and refused to let them disembark. The dash cam on the bus caught the entire terrifying event on video. I'm not letting anybody off until you listen to what I have to say, the driver said in the video. The longer we stay here, the more your parents are going to be upset, and not at me, they're going to be upset with you. Parents waited outside, distraught about what was going on inside of the bus. One parent attempted to pry open the bus doors, while another pounded on the side of the bus. But the bus driver wasn't giving in to the kids or their parents. In fact, he got back in the driver's seat and drove off, not letting any of the children go. Parents, fearing for their children's lives, called police. The driver had brought them back to school, and police were there to arrest him. The driver was placed on administrative leave, but later resigned. Number 4. Mother Bear Bus driver incidents can be scary, but mother attacks can put people in the hospital. One mother in Westwood near Cincinnati gave a local school bus driver some major injuries. The bus driver, DeAmber Martin, thought it was just her average day. 28-year-old mother Keisha Shannon probably did too as she was dropping her daughter off at the school bus stop that morning. The school bus must stay on a strict schedule. So Martin warned Shannon that she was about to leave, whether her daughter was aboard the bus or not. She said she couldn't wait around for her, but Shannon called her daughter back to her car for a kiss goodbye that morning, and Martin pulled away for the already scheduled program. Instead of telling her daughter to get back in the car and taking her to school herself, Shannon drove in front of the bus, parked, and blocked it in. Then she got out of her vehicle, pried the school doors open, and screamed in Martin's face. It's unclear who attacks first in the video, but as frightened children aboard the school bus look on, Martin said Shannon tried to bite her ear off, smother her, and puncture her eye. Shannon spit on her and scratched her face, the injuries of which were later treated at a local hospital. The mother bear was arrested. People in the neighborhood were surprised that this could happen on their normally quiet, peaceful street of Mustang Drive. I guess the key takeaway is that if it can happen here, it can happen anywhere. Number 3. School Bus Fire Not one but two bus engines burst into flames in the span of a single month in North Carolina. This is footage of one of these fires. The buses in question were both FS-65 Thomas-built buses with CAT-3126 engines. After an investigation, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools put out a statement saying that the wiring components in the engine compartment caused the two fires. According to the video's poster, the fast-thinking bus driver was able to get all of the kids out of the bus safely, and hopefully the school district has followed up on this fiery issue. Number 2. Corporal Punishment When a bus driver in Dallas County was tasked with delivering kids safely to their middle school, she didn't deliver. Instead, Janet Pitts ended up choking one of the students on board, and it was all caught on video. Xavier, a bipolar, mentally challenged student aboard Pitts bus, began acting out as she drove. Normally, a monitor would be aboard the bus to help the driver manage the passengers. However, on this day in January, there was no monitor, which meant Xavier was free to roam about the bus and fling obscenities at other students and the driver. Pitts, who was attempting to be attentive to her task at hand, driving, also tried to control the situation with Xavier, albeit in a terrible manner. She told the boy she'd stop the bus to come get you, and even said she'd beat him, and she did eventually stop the bus. What happened next was worse than anything you can imagine. Pitts choked the young boy in the back of the bus. 
She even said so when she returned to the driver's seat. Xavier's family was never alerted to the incident. They only found out when informed by News 8. Claudia Nava, Xavier's mother, had reported scratches on her son the same week of the incident. Although Pitts was terminated, she was later reinstated by the board after an appeal, but she resigned after the family discovered what happened with Xavier. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Mean Driver What happens when you have a special needs child who's being mistreated? One family from Vacaville Unified School District took matters into their own hands and sued them. When their 8-year-old daughter's bus driver, Kim Klopson, pulled up outside of Browns Valley Elementary, she yanked the girl out of her seat. Klopson is seen in the video leering over the child, taunting her. The girl, crying and screaming, stumbles into the bus aisle, while Klopson grabs her by her sweater, pulling her to her feet and scolding her. The parents of the girl were horrified by what they'd seen in the surveillance video. The eight-year-old had allegedly blocked the aisle, not letting another student through, which is when Klopson stepped in. You're misbehaving, as always, it sounds like to me. No, mine. Mine, because you did not do what you were supposed to. Now sit down and you can have it back. No. Nope. The footage at this point is atrocious to watch. As the woman pulls the girl by her sweater, throwing her on the seat at one point and then into the aisle, as she continues to argue with the girl, she pulls on her clothing to lift her while the girl continues to scream and Klopson continues to taunt her. After getting off of the bus, Klopson tells others outside that she didn't hurt her. And it sounds like this is not the first time Klopson mistreated a child. In the video footage, she tells the paraeducator, We did this with another little guy that didn't want to ride the bus. The driver has since been let go. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!